What's up, YouTube? What's up, Radio Nation? It's Mr. Radio Kid here, bringing you, bringing you a quick video. I'm supposed to do this the other day. Time just collapsed on me, you know. Thanksgiving and today's Friday, so bringing it to you now. This Sunday, I'm really excited. I, you know, still vibing off the first win. It seems like all week we've been still celebrating and still enjoying the fact that we've got our our first win and just enjoying the fact that you know we're not going to go on 16 and all you. Uh, haters and people that just hate and don't know anything about football uh, can all have a seat and just uh, sip some of that black tea. Black Friday, get it. Anyways, we get the Rams this week. And uh, another winnable game in my opinion, but also another pretty, I, I feel like it's an even matched up. Uh, a lot of people say, well, I, you know, a lot of you would disagree, maybe, uh, that this is um, not an even matchup. I think it is. Uh, our defense is ranked just a spot ahead of theirs. Uh, in the past few weeks, they deserve that. They have been playing a great football. Offense is dead last still. Uh, but with the spark of Latavius Murray, it looked like uh, our offense would get back in a kick. But unfortunately, he will not be playing Sunday. He did not pass um, the concussion protocols. So, not going to have our spark. So, uh, uh, it's kind of a blow to our team. But, I mean, no excuses. For McFadden and uh, Maurice Jones Drew, after they should take notes pretty much. Uh, I think what McFadden does wrong is he puts his shoulder, his head down, and shoulders uh, are all ready for impact uh, way before he should just keep his eyes out uh, for the holes and just look downfield. That's what I felt like Latavius Murray did. Uh, you know, he, like he bounced out exactly what I said all year for McFadden to do. And hopefully, they learn from that. So, I mean jump to that real quick. So we're playing the Rams in St. Louis. You know the Raider Nation's going to be out there. Uh, I've said that in my last video. Um, watching the Rams games because of my friend. i seen nothing but other teams' fans there. Uh, I, was, I didn't really watch the Broncos and Rams game, but I saw a highlight and I saw a sea of orange. And uh, that's bad. No wonder why they're in talks for Los Angeles. Stay along with us. You can call it a mini battle for LA. That's what I was going to name the title of the video, but uh, maybe not. Um, it could be, you know, it's a, it's a former battle of L.A. It could be a possible uh, battle winner takes L.A. type-ish. Uh, but it should be a good game. It's going to be close matched up. Um, Austin Davis is no longer their quarterback. It's Sean Hill. Sean Hill, to me, f watching him play last week, he did not look like and he knew where he was throwing the football. He has the potential to make big plays, which he has done. He can throw a bomb here and there and find an open receiver. He can make those big 30-yard passes. But when it comes to uh, consistency and awareness, I think he just lacks poorly. Uh, some of his uh, some of his short passes were just off the mark like crazy. Looked like trash. But uh, we're, to really get a hold of this game, our defense is going to have to be on fleek again, like usual. The past few weeks that they've been playing, the way we shut down Jamal Charles, uh, we need to pretty much control Trey Mason and make sure that he doesn't run us over too much, and I don't think he will. I, I think this, this game is going to be too evenly matched between offense versus defense on both sides. It, it's just going to be, it might come down to the kickers. I, I predicted it last week, um, that the score at least, but I, I thought Seabass would be a bigger factor, uh, but I think this week he will. You, you have Greg Zerline over there, which is a pretty good young kicker. Um, both both guard both kickers have their faults here and there, but there's a there's something at stake. Um, any Rams fan that watched my video, if you are not subscribed to Alex Does It 24, you need to go to. He's a Ram fan, uh, die hard, just like me. Vice versa, teams though. Uh, he's one of my best friends, and um, go check out his videos. You know we have like this friendly rivalry we have between the Raiders and the Rams. Over the years, both of our teams have been trash. You know, we've had our fair shares of eight and eight seasons uh, close. We've had our shares of first overall picks and being down and, and being the crappiest team in the division. And again, it's in one of those years where it's just kind of disappointing, like usual. They have they have upset um, if they've been you know the Niners, the Seahawks, and the Broncos. All big surprises, all you know, all across the board. Should have beat San Diego last week, in my opinion. Um, we haven't played them since four years ago in Oakland, and we won that matchup, and I feel like we'll win again. It'll be a close one, and I hope we win, obviously, get our second win in the books. It's a winnable game. It, you know, my my hope 
or my confidence of winning kind of goes down after hearing that Latavius Murray is out. Rod Streeter probably won't play. Now reading a couple articles, uh, I think they're going to take take it slow with him now that he's back and he's practicing, kind of like DJ Hayden, you know. Uh, when we heard DJ Hayden was back, he practiced uh, but didn't play, uh, but the next week he did. So maybe we'll see Rod Streeter against the Niners, which we will we'll need him and Murray for the Niners. Can't wait for that game. But first, let's take care of St. Louis. Raider Nation will be out there. Um, defense on fleek. Offense. Got to get some kind of run game going. If not, Derek Carr is going to have to be having a great, perfect game in order to win. The receivers are going to have to get open, make plays. Got to have that intensity that they did uh, Thursday night, man. And I think we'll win this game. Uh, Chris Long, a notable player for the Rams. Chris Long might come back, but I think it's another Rod Streeter, DJ Hayden situation where they're just coming off that uh, that pup list and they might want to take it slow, not throw him back out there right off. But you never know. Uh, I read that they're being quiet about it. They haven't announced anything yet. So the Raiders said, no, well, we're, we're going to be quiet about Rod Streeter as well. It could be going either way. we got to take advantage of the Rams' secondary. They're good at times, but then at times they blow. They can blow it. And both of our teams are known for penalties, so if we can just hold our penalties and let them get the free yellow, um, take advantage of it. Take advantage of everything. Our, our blocking, our you know, offensive line is going to have to block. Incredible. I've seen their blitzes. They love to blitz. Take advantage of that. I'm not too scared about that because Derek, Derek Carr has great awareness. He is so smart as a rookie, man. He will call it out uh, for the blockers to, you know, um, take take care of the linebackers blitzing or the safeties, and he'll just sling it out real quick, maybe uh, audible to a slant or something. So it's going to be up to our pretty much our whole team to just – Play great football to get this second win on the road in St. Louis. You know Raider Nation will be out there full effect. Um, shouts out to everybody going out there. Let me get down with these picks real quick. All right, so I picked all three Thanksgiving games right. Eagles kicked ass, and Seahawks feast over the Niners. And, of course, the Lions beat the Bears early on. So let me get run down this. I got, uh, I got the Dolphins beating the Jets on Monday night. Broncos over the Chiefs. I got the Packers over the pa uh, Patriots in a good game. Uh, Cardinals over the Falcons. Texans over the Titans. Uh, Ravens over the Chargers. Browns over the Bills. Reds no, Colts over the Redskins, my bad. But I'm glad to see they're finally putting Colt McCoy in. They're like three weeks late. Um, Giants over the Jaguars. That can go either way. Uh, Bengals over the Bucks. Steelers over the Saints. And uh, Minnesota over the Panthers. And, of course, Raiders over the Rams. And my final prediction of the score... Uh, I'm going to say 2017. I'm going to say it's going to come down to the kicker. I kind of said this last week. Um, it's going to come down to the kicking, really. Uh, I think our defenses are going to just stop each other. Offenses are not going to move much. There might be one or two explosive plays, maybe a lot of penalties in this game. But I think we'll come up on top in St. Louis, and we'll head back home to Oakland for the Battle of the Bay against the 49ers. That's my prediction. That's what I'm hoping for. And there's a, there's something up to stake between me and my friend. Alex does it. Again, go check out his channel. Rander fans, you know, guys, go check out his channel. Go check out his video. He's going to probably put up for this game as well. Um, he doesn't really talk too much shit, so uh, take it easy on him. But the loser of the game, which is, you know, me and him, whatever team loses uh, will have to wear the other team's jersey. And for me, I have never worn another team's uniform on my body before unless it was mighty might football but that doesn't really count so this is kind of uh, you know I, I feel a little uneasy about this but I shouldn't because I have the confidence that the Raiders will win uh, but so you'll, you'll see that on Sunday right after the game um, hopefully I'm wearing that silver and black and we got that W and I'm dreading the fact that I there's a possibility I might have to wear that nasty Rams jersey anyways guys Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share to all of the Raider fans. I'm almost at 200. It feels great. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you're having a safe Black Friday. And uh, silver and black all day, baby. Go Raiders. Raider Nation.